So applications for the Eric C. Douglas Convocation Award are due pretty soon. I wanted to take a quick moment to describe to you a couple of things that I thought might be helpful in your deciding to apply and in improving your chances of receiving this prestigious scholarship. So first of all, who is Eric C. Douglas? What's going on? What's the Entrepreneurship Center? What's the scholarship? What's the difference? Uh, what is this and why am I interested? So the Eric C. Douglas family came from Alberta and they were very successful as entrepreneurs over the course of many decades, working largely on hands-on projects like road building or uh, housing developments. And they donated money to Royal Roads in two installments about 20 years ago and then again about 10 years ago to support entrepreneurship that was in line with their values. So first of all, it needed to be practical and real. So not hypothetical, not head in the clouds, not academic, but really hands-on. And it also needed to have some promise of making the world a better place. So this scholarship that they endowed in 1998 has been given out to so many Royal Roads grads from different faculties, different fields of study, who are building businesses that suit that sort of twofold agenda in that they are on the ground, ready to go, happening, making a difference, and that that is a socially positive difference and that is going to make our whole world better for all of us. So that's what the scholarship's about. There's also a center at Royal Roads called the Eric C. Douglas Center for Entrepreneurial Studies, and this was endowed by the same family about 10 years later. You can find out more information about the center and get in touch with us and talk to us about various different projects. You can see people who have won this scholarship or other awards or done cool things that are similar over the past several years by going to ECDC dot royalroads.ca. So instead of the triple W, just type in ecdc.royalroads.ca. Now, in terms of making application to this scholarship and, and having better odds than you would have otherwise, I came up with really three basic suggestions. The first one is to try to solve a problem. So to position your concept, your idea, your vision as the solution to a problem. This is something that's kind of classic in uh, the entrepreneurial arc or the entrepreneurial story that uh, somebody came up with something and it made everybody happy because all of them were having the same issue or challenge. So you can still succeed if you present something as an opportunity but it's easier for the committee to look at it as the solution to a problem that is going to change the world. So my first suggestion is look at framing your issue as solving a problem that matters to people. My second suggestion is to try to run your business model. So that is, how do you make money? It's a sort of a fancy kind of current way of saying, how do we actually create dollars that sustain us whether we are a for-profit or a non-profit entity, we're gonna to need to create value in a way that it moves us forward over time and we are not going to be dependent, uh, you know, waiting for grants or, or scholarships to, uh, to keep the, the, the lights on as time goes on. So look at taking your business model or how you currently perceive your business model and manipulating it beating on it, bending it, folding it, doing whatever you have to do to it to make it work really well in one of the free online business model canvas tools. So it might be that the business model canvas suits you. It might be that you find that the lean canvas is more appropriate because you're just starting out and you're so small and you're looking at big things, but you're, you're, you're not currently at a stage where it makes sense to talk about all the major pieces and parts of a true business model canvas. You might also get into a social venture canvas. So my second suggestion on how to improve your application is to do some work on your business model, the very fundamental of how are we going to address the problem that we identified in part number one. And then my third suggestion is to find a mentor. It may be that you see somebody's work on ecdc.royalroads.ca. It may be that you go onto LinkedIn and you type in Royal Roads in quotations and entrepreneur or CEO or change maker or social innovation or something along those lines and you find a kindred spirit. It might be that you reach out and contact me or others at the Entrepreneurship Center.
But I'm saying to you that I think that the third way to make your application far more successful than it would be otherwise is to connect in advance with mentors, people who have done this before and who can walk you through how to make your case more compelling so that when you send your application in, you're going to be further up the top of the stack. You're going to look a whole lot better if we can see that you have worked with people who have done this before, who are successful, who are willing to help you out not only in the here and now, but maybe are also listed as advisory board members for your venture in the future. Thank you and good luck.